Hello from Slovenia again. Today I want to give a huge shout out first to my friend, fellow artist, really nice person and friend of mine. I'm so happy. Mina Villegas Art. She sent me a box with this note, my dear Fiona. Happy belated birthday. Have fun with the paint. The flower is so that you will always have flowers. Love you, my friend, Mina. Love you too, Mina. You know that. And it's so nice because with a lot of friends, fellow artists, we became really good friends. And she sent me this flower. It's not my birthday, but you know, packages from States to Slovenia. Whew, I will not talk about it. And she sent me this bear uh, paint for a bloom technique. And I mix it with the GAC 800 and my pouring medium is this. This is a recipe I believe from Karen from Watercolor Acrylics and I have Selectivator. <laughs> I just jumped into the stuff. Stop Fiona for a second. So, Mina, I I'm really happy. It's sometimes it's hard to find the words because some things are just so nice. Nina, <laughs> Nina, Mina, you know that I love you and I hope that I will do some decent bloom with this. I did practice a little bit. I showed this on my yesterday's life. I did some today. This is uh, I don't know my way of bloom. I will say um, and I will try to do something similar because I will go with some negative space hopefully. I think that this is the technique that maybe I can, you know, keep some negative space. We will see. So I will, and I mix today because uh, I have some Lumiere, Lumiere, Lumiere paints that are really thin so I decided that I will use it on this technique because the pouring medium it's kind of thick so I believe that they will work okay so I will use two of them this is Lumiere Hello Violet Gold and this is Grape and I will use some Pebeo iridescent blue green and Amsterdam expert series phthalo turquoise and probably I will do some marble roll too so I will start with this hello violet gold <laughs> or something and pebeo iridescent blue green and as I said, I want to keep some negative space, so I will go for a minimalistic thing here for the blue more, how can I say that? And this was grape and Amsterdam turquoise. Huh. And cell activator. I have some problems with my cell activator too, so I'm still learning. And now I will blow this. And 
and I'm still struggling with the part that I have to blow. I will take this hollow gold out because I don't like it and I will use this one instead Lumiere for a next bloom Sunset Gold because I will do one I don't know here on top because I will switch this a little bit because I don't like this part so I will just play a little bit you know some gold and some purple grape and taro turquoise I love this Taylor turquoise or maybe I add just too much of it I don't know this more so let's play with this a little bit we'll just take a skewer first Turn if I can. Uh, whoop. Have to, sorry. And I will probably just draw a line through here and go down no not like that roll the marble through because I kind of don't like that and I will go from here to there to break this part a little bit necessarily going for bloom or something I will do one more here this will be obviously long video but you know I'm learning trying to be fast and don't like that.
This lady, Charmin Khan, I will put link to her channel into the description box. She do these things really, really beautiful. So, okay, and I will tear this now and see what will happen. of like that but I'm done now. 
So here is a close-up without lights on, just didn't turn out as I hoped. I love the colors and I love some lacing that I got, but after all I don't know, I like the one that I did before way more uh, because I kept more negative space and it's not a lot of lacing there but still beautiful and I have some little ones here that I practice too so but I love this one this one is definitely too busy should have had more less paint but you know it's a learning process and again huge shout out to Mina Villegas to make this possible even so this is it for today and see you on the next one bye